I want to talk to you about 20 differences between the new and the old covenant. We need to understand that Jesus is this new covenant and experience Jesus as this new covenant. To not live by and in the sweet, empowering presence of Jesus is to live outside of the new covenant. Jesus has opened for us a new and living way, which is his person. And I want to talk to you from first, or actually 2 Corinthians chapter 3, about 20 differences, really quickly, between the new and the old covenant. In verse 6 of chapter 3, Paul says, We are servants of a new covenant. Then he says, Not of the letter, but of the Spirit. So that's the premise for the new covenant covenant and the old covenant. If you were to take a sheet of paper and write on the right side old covenant and on the left side new covenant, you could see these differences. Number one, the old covenant is of letters. Letters literally only communicate something to you. And in this case, it's the knowledge of what is good and what is bad. So this is dead. It has no ability to make you live. It only informs you of something. Letters can't give you life any more than a book in front of you can give you sustenance. It's not possible. So the Old Covenant is letters only, just information. And it's actually called tablets of stone. Stones are a perfect illustration of what the Old Covenant is. It's very cold, it's hard, it's carved, it's heavy. This is very much like the Old Covenant. Number three, it's a ministry of death. It's not able to give to you life. It did have a glory. Part Number four is it did have a glory because it came from God, but it serves its purpose and then fades away. Number five is that the glory of the old covenant fades away. Number six, it is it veils the eyes of the understanding. Uh, this is very important for us to understand that if you live according to the Old Covenant, you cannot see. You're blind. You're unable to have the spirit of wisdom, understanding, revelation. Number seven, it hardens the heart and hardens the understanding. Number eight, just like Moses had a veil over his faith, face so that they couldn't see the glory was fading, so it is with a lot of people who live in an old covenant mentality they internally have no more presence but they portray outwardly like they're living holy this is an issue in christianity it's called old covenant thinking number nine there's no liberty in it number ten you remain in your own image the old covenant cannot conform you to the image of Jesus. So to sum up the 10 things about the Old Covenant, it is this, it cannot conform you into the image of Jesus. It is heavy, it is something for man to do. It has to do with restrictions on your life, letters that cannot give you life. Now, things concerning the New Covenant is, number one, it is the Spirit. It is actually the presence of God actually gives you life, causes you to be able to walk out this thing. It puts new desires in your heart. It gives you empowerment from God. Number three, it is written inside of your heart. This is indicative of the fact that God changes your heart and puts desires for His way on the inside of you. Number four, it's a ministry of righteousness. It makes you like Him. Number five, it has greater glory than the Old Covenant. In other words, there's more of a manifestation of the person of Christ through the Spirit in this than the Old. Number six, it actually remains forever. This glory will not fade. The revelation of Jesus by the Spirit that comes through the New Covenant will last forever. Number seven, it is unveiled faces. You can see you can hear, you can perceive God, you can understand there's wisdom and knowledge by the Spirit here. Number eight, it is liberty. You are free. It is for freedom. He has set us free. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Number nine, it is beholding 
the Lord, being able to perceive the person of Christ. Number 10, it is being transformed into the image of God from glory to glory. The presence of the Lord who is the Spirit actually transforms and changes the person's inward life. So if you were to sum up these 10 things of the new covenant, it is this, that the Spirit actually conforms you to the image of Jesus. And it is something that we receive and not something that we do. Night and day, the old covenant is what you do. The new covenant is what He does. The old covenant is efforts and striving. The new covenant is God working in and through. The old covenant is based upon your performance. The new covenant is based upon what Jesus has accomplished and what He accomplishes through you. This is the key to the new covenant. So I find a lot of people in the new covenant that are still walking with an old covenant mentality they're trying to clean themselves up they're trying to live by restrictions they're living heavy and striving and performing with all kinds of efforts and they're weary and they're tired and they're stale and they're dry and they're hollow and they're empty and they wonder why they cannot overcome sin and here's the reason They need to enter into the new covenant and receive the Spirit who will perform the thing through them Himself. This is liberty. This is where joy is and peace that passes all understanding. This is where real love comes out, where you're not trying to make yourself love. He is in you as love. I encourage you that the new covenant is so wonderful, you couldn't even have made it up yourself. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you that by your spirit, you accomplish all things through us. I pray you spear to the wall efforts and strivings. Lord, I pray you pierce us with your splendor and subdue us with your majesty. Bring in the sweetness of your spirit that performs all things for your own glory. Lord, set us free from all the muscling. And Lord, I pray in our hearts, we would yield to you and the fact that it is not by might nor by power, but it is by your spirit, thus says the Lord. Amen. God bless you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video. We have underneath our events that are coming up. Also, uh, these shirts are down there and our books and things like that. Thank you guys so much for all your support and all your help as we continue to use YouTube to bring the church into a deeper experience and awareness of God's presence in their daily lives. God bless you. Walk in the new covenant.